stands at 0.3%, and the prior figure stood at minus 0.4. Uh, and, 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 um, talking about, uh, about the numbers in particular, so U.S. economic growth in the fourth, uh, third quarter, sorry, was stronger than initially reported, according to yesterday's uh, GDP revision. The source of the improvement, stronger inventory accumulation and softer consumer spending isn't the best way to fuel a revision. But for the moment, let's take the headline advance at uh, face value. Output increased 2.1%, moderately stronger than the initially reported 1.5% GDP gains to the uh, September season of adjusted annual rate. Uh, the macro trend. Uh, the macro trend is still sluggish, uh, but the upgrade to uh, Q3 GDP is decent. Uh, a bit more uh, cover to start raising interest rates uh, next month. Will today's update on uh, new orders for durable goods follow suit? Uh, the October data will be mixed according to EconoDay.com's uh, consensus forecast. Although economists expect uh, that First month monthly since uh, July. Uh, and 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 uh, the projected 1.5 uh, percent advance for headline durable goods still translates to a 1.3 uh, percent uh, year-on-year loss. That's a softer slide, but new orders have been in the uh, red in annual terms since February, uh, and there's no sign of a bullish. Uh, change on the horizon. <clears throat> Weak demand for big ticket items isn't particularly surprising at this point. It's been clear that U.S. manufacturing has been struggling for some time, although there are hints of a firm trend in some indicators. Uh, the poster boy for recovery in manufacturing took an unexpected tumble earlier this week when markets flash estimate of its purchasing manager index. Uh, in November fell to a two-year low. The PMI still aligns with the moderate uh, rate of growth, but uh, if the formerly leading edge for bullish expectation in manufacturing is now on the defensive, it's unlikely that today's report on durable goods orders is set to make a convincing case otherwise. And let's uh, take a look uh, what do economists from different banks and economic institutions uh, have to say on this particular data release, and according to their views, we have the uh, Bloomberg survey summary, where the median estimate stands at 0.3%, uh, average estimate stands at 0.3% as well, high estimate stands at 1.3%, and low estimate stands at minus 1.1, whereas the number of estimates this time has reached 54. Last but not least, I have uh, one minute to go, and the community members' uh, sentiment on the impact U.S. dollar and Japanese yen currency pair definitely this time. And as you can see, the traders went uh, to the uh, bullish side this time, 63.64% versus 36.36 respectively. Uh, we have a couple of comments. For example, Walker says that as forecast is quite hard and previously he believes it might not be met as the, uh, every economic result from U.S. which come not so strong as expected increases doubts about December rate hike and this might be caused uh, to his, uh, according to his opinion on uh, U.S. dollar Japanese yen downside is more likely. Uh, and I guess that pretty much sums the fundamental part. I hope you have uh, had the chance to, to read the second comment and definitely follow up. Meanwhile, I would like to invite Michael on the whiteboard to discuss the technical part. Thank you. Thank you once again. So, hello everyone. And for today's data, we have the euro dollar currency pair. Uh, and of course, we have the sell market and the positive surprise trading strategy since the data is expected to improve. Uh, however, there are still some risks that we will see a rise in the euro since it was boosted today due to geopolitical uh, issues. But nonetheless, uh, the market sentiment for the given pair is. Uh, Kind of neutral with bulls slightly outnumbering the bears. 
the sentiment is at 50.66%, uh, with the US dollar being bought in 41.88% uh, of all cases, so less than the, major than the majority, and the euro being sold in almost 47% of all cases. Concerning the pending orders, uh, they are not quite different uh, in the 50 and the 100 peak ranges. In the 50, it's 62.14% for orders to sell the euro, and uh, in the 100 peak range, it's 62.43% also to sell. Uh, other market participants are somewhat bullish on the uh, euro, euro dollar, with Rwanda having 55.72% of all traders holding long positions. Uh, and the daily effects has 59% of bullish traders. Uh, the Saxo group, however, has almost 52% uh, of traders holding short positions. So, uh, moving to the market's reaction table, where we see the uh, reactions for the previous five days releases of the quadruple goods orders. Uh, for the euro dollar, the largest reaction was 37 pips, and the smallest one was only five. Uh, but since we're expecting a large number of data today, apart from the uh, goods orders, uh, we might see a larger reaction, but uh, the average expected today is 17 pips. Also, due to a high number of uh, data, there could be some mixed figures, and we could see close to no reaction, and there might stay flat as well, but uh, nonetheless, the expected one is 17 pips to the downside. So, based on this reaction, we set the take profit and stop loss levels accordingly, with the uh, take profit level located at uh, 1.0576, uh, and unfortunately we don't have any other significant level to bolster this support, while the stop loss level is located at 1.061. Uh, also, there are no other significant levels to reinforce this resistance, but what I would like to mention is the uh, given trend line, which has been there for more than two weeks now, and on the five-minute chart, that's quite a, an amount of time, so this is a really strong support level, uh, really strong trend line, so it could cause the pair to rebound eventually again, or even limit uh, today's volatility in case the data is really better and you do see a reaction to the downside. So, with only a minute left, I'll just move to the technical indicators, which are actually supporting the bearish outlook on the universe. Uh, the 30 minute time frame indicator is giving us distinctly bullish signals, and this is the most important indicator, uh, since it was updated 30 minutes ago specifically for the given day release. And just a bit concerning the forecasts, uh, with the quadruple goods orders, uh, the top forecasters for CIBC world markets and the action economics. Uh, their forecasts are, however, quite different. CIBC world markets was the best forecaster, and they expect a minus 0.4% result today in the quadruple goods orders, while action economics expect 0.3% growth. Uh, and concerning the durable goods orders, Commerce Bank expects a rise up to 2%, an increase up to 2%. Export Economics expects even higher, 2.7%, and Raiffeisen Bank up to 2.5%. So they're expecting the data to beat expectations. And we see a really small reaction right now. So I'm guessing the data is actually slightly worse or better. Yeah, the durable goods orders beat expectations by uh, 1.3 percentage points, uh, while the core durable goods orders is also better, uh, the jobless claims is also better, and uh, only the personal spending uh, didn't meet the expectations and is slightly worse, flat since the previous release, so <laughs> we've seen only a 3 paper reaction to the downside, so this is probably uh, because of the diverse data and, of course, the trend, trend line being in play. And, but nonetheless, the, eventually the market profit level was almost reached. And uh, yeah, but 
basically uh, just call it that there was no reaction today. Uh, nothing else is good and it was kind of expecting something like this to happen. So I guess that's all from my side and uh, back to you, you. Thank you, Michael. Great analysis. And um, yeah, uh, the quarterable goods orders came out at 0.5, uh, which is much, can we say, much better than expected compared to 0.3. Um, well, yeah, definitely, um, definitely we're looking forward to uh, Doc and Jagnash thoughts on the matter. Uh, I hope that gentlemen can still hear us. Uh, what, what do you think? What do you have to say? Uh, and while you're answering, we'd like to, we would like to thank all the guests and participants. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to, uh, to, to, to stay on television because uh, we still have a number of webinars here today, starting off with Dr. Alice and Jagnash joint webinar. So it's going to be interesting. And meanwhile, that's all for, uh, from our side today. Once again, thank you and see you very, very soon. Bye. All right. Thanks, Pauline.